Hi Virgo, this is Logan with Golden Thread Tarot. This is going to be your weekly reading for October 14th to the 20th. I do just want to make you aware, in case you are not already, that on Thursday, October 17th, we do have a full moon in Aries. Now, this full moon is set to bring up things that uh, might resemble things that we've experienced when we were in childhood. So, Mars and Cancer are kind of coming up here. So, um, energy regarding our feelings, right? And feeling included or excluded, feeling like we can express ourselves through that, reacting, not, you know, we want to respond and not react. So, if you can react to what comes up um, in a way where you're responding and not reacting and still being authentic in your response, then you will likely experience a lot of joy and harmony after this experience. So it's on Thursday and let's go ahead and pull an archetype to give me the general energy for you for the week. The vision, okay? So Virgo, there's something that is coming into your mind this week when it comes to a vision that you have. Maybe you have a new idea for what you want for a job or how a relationship should work or maybe a painting that you're trying to work on. Regardless, you're having like this big vision, like a vision is coming through this week and it's kind of like this unifying vision. This could even be like where you want your relationship to go, where you want a particular partnership to go, but ideas are coming through. Your imagination is starting to run wild. You're using all of your wisdom from the past to kind of figure out what you want this vision to look like. And let's go ahead and pull a card or an energy we want you to embody more of is protection. Understand that your vision is protected. It's important for you to stay patient in this process and that you are also protected in this process, right? So don't be fearful. Don't, I would also say protect your idea. Don't tell too many people what your vision is. Keep this vision between you, yourself, and maybe a very you select people that know you really well and that you trust with this. Sometimes when we express our visions to too many people, the energy can be a little bit diluted. So it's a recommendation right now for you to kind of keep this to yourself, okay? Okay, and if you can give me three cards... For the general energy that Virgo is going to experience. Something's coming through where you're like, oh wow, like this is serious. This is serious. Two of swords in reverse, the emperor and the ten of pentacles in reverse. You're worried that something's not going to go forward. You have anxiety about a new beginning you're going to still press through because you're strong, but you almost feel like you, like, there's like kind of like a stuck energy, like a no way out, but you know you have to do this. And I want to get clarification on all three of these cards, actually, but there's an essence of like, you're like, okay, I made the choice. Now I'm like, I have to lay in the bed that I've made and I have to, pr I have to show up right? This is a new commitment coming through here. This is a new commitment. Oh, wow. Isn't that beautiful? I love tarot. So the two of swords in reverse is clarified by the king of pentacles in reverse. You're like, okay, well, this, this, I don't know really how I'm going to be able to kind of pull this together, right? King of pentacles in reverse is like, Am I really equipped for the job? Am I really capable of providing in this kind of way? And this emperor here clarified by the three of pentacles in reverse is like, 
I don't know if it's gonna work. I hope that my skills are, I hope that I really do have as much control as I say that I do because I'm scared it's not gonna work. I'm scared it's not gonna give me everything that I've been kind of looking towards. What if my colleagues don't like me? What if we don't get along, right? There's a, kind of like a here we go kind of energy, right? Regarding this vision, but it's fresh energy. Now the 10 of pentacles is clarified by the 10 of pentacles and that's just like the greatest and they're both in reverse. So there's this essence of you feeling like this, the, the, I hope this brings me what I'm looking to receive from it, right? I hope this, this, I can't see what's going to happen right now, um, but I know that I just need to take a chance here, right? And this can be like a new job opportunity that we have. Um, we're worried that it won't give us all of the financial security that we need. So I think there's some anxiety there of like, is this going to work? Is this even going to give me all of the things that I want, right? Just at the end of the day, the emperor is here. So, and it's upright. So you do have everything that you need. So anything that you're worried about in terms of finances is a very real concern if you're concerned about that, but you are strong enough to do this. Okay, you're strong enough to do this. What is the advice here? The advice for you, Virgo. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Queen of Wands in reverse. And the Knight of Cups. Okay. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Okay? You don't have to do anything that you don't want to do. If you are feeling uncomfortable, if you're feeling like there's like this essence of, of anger here too, if you're angry, if there's like jealousy for some reason underneath here, right? Like you're able to express how you're feeling. Do not bottle up your feelings, okay? Express them. Okay, if you're like, that makes me uncomfortable, that makes me nervous, that make that that's putting, that's making me feel uneasy, then say something, right? The Knight of Cups here is express your feelings, okay? And if this is any kind of romantic energy, because the Knight of Cups can be that way, tell someone how you feel. If they're kind of pushing you to do something you're uncomfortable with, tell them how you're feeling. Okay. If you can give me a card, um, actually, we're going to do another card. This one wants to come out. Okay. Open this. Yes. So be open to the possibilities that this will bring to you, right? Don't close yourself off just yet. Try it out. See how it goes. See how you feel through it, right? See how you feel through it. Let's pull a Sacred Rebel card. Every journey starts with a single step and we have the word wants to be written. So this is your story, right? This is your story. This is your life. It's time for you to create what you want to be creating and taking on new projects, new work, new uh, partnerships, these can all bring in a certain amount of anxiety, but you have to trust that you have all of the skills to take you to where you're going, right? You have all of the skills. What will make Virgo more confident? Is that mental ease, right? Don't worry about being backstabbed or people not having your back or feeling like you can't trust anything. Just like rest knowing that you're safe, right? It'll make you feel better if you just like, I'm good. At the end of the day, I have my back. I can take care of myself and I'm calm. I'm hearing like remain calm, okay? What else will help? The lovers in reverse, don't worry about your partner right now and how they're feeling through the whole process. It's important for you if they really care about you and they love you, they'll support you in this process, right? Even if they're like 
how is it going to make us look or how is this going to happen or whatever. Um, not worrying about your partner. Like, of course, you care about your partner, but don't let your partner's worries and fears get to you right now. Just know that, like, you're okay, right? You're okay. And you're protected through this process. Just give it your all, right? Give it your all. Stay true to yourself always. All right. That's what I have for you, Virgo. Thanks. Bye.